G'day. So you want to see some new gear from Sweden? Well, check this out. Starts off with these pants. Built in knee pads. This one here is the lightweight knee pad. This one here is the heavy duty knee pad. And the reason it's heavy duty is it's for people that are on their knees a lot. And so it could be for floories, for tilers, and cable layers, the like of those people. Now uh, we actually nicknamed this one the beanbag knee pad. And the material here, cordura, tough as. Lasts for a hell of a long, long time. Particularly when you've got on your knees a lot. Moving along, other features of these pants are your typical mobile phone holder, wallet, pens. On the other side, you've got your ruler. On the back, easy pockets, angled. You get your hands in, nice and large. And there we start getting to the fun stuff. Holster pockets. Here's um, where you can put your nails, your screws, whatever. Also lined with cordura, so very tough. And here's where the accessory system starts kicking in. So check this out. Nail liners. Here's where you can put your screws and your nails in these bags, slide them in the pocket. You might even want to get a couple of these. So I'll just find another one of these in my bag that looks like it has slipped a little bit. Now, picture this. You've got two or three different types of screws. You've got them hanging up in your truck, so you've got two, three, four bags. Or you might have them hanging up in your workshop. And so you just grab what you need, slot her in, and you're off and running. Bang. When you're finished, pull her out, put it back in the shop. So let's put these down here and see how they work. So now you can see, you can get your hands into these holster pockets as compared to trying to get the screws out of your pockets pressed up against your leg. Get back up, pull the nail liners out, put them away, slot your pockets in. Now moving along, we get into the rest of the accessories. Starts with these Velcro holders on the side. You can see this is my mobile phone, just another little 1%. You can slot that onto your belt, or with the handles on the back here, you can actually slot on sideways onto your belt if you need to. These Velcros on both sides, so starts off with hammer holder. Hammer holder here, you can slot in. Now you've got your hammer holder, and you've got your tool pouch. On the other side, you might need some more heavy duty stuff. So here we've got this universal tool pouch. So we get that with just one handle and slot her on. And you're off and running. And if you need some more space, here you go, you've got the holster pocket again. Putting those away. Another particularly innovative feature about this particular universal tool pouch is you've got the panel on the back. Why have you got the panel on the back? You've got a rubber band as well, because then you can slot into this holster pocket and you secure it with the elastic on the back. Pretty smart, hey? Moving along, just detach that, put that down, take that off, put in your holster pocket, and you're done. Now, if you've got some serious work to do, this is where you get the Ergo belt. Here, you've got more Velcro than you can focusly get. So this is where it starts getting fun. Put the Velcro off, and use, say, heavy duty um, pouch. This one here where you aim at Sparky, as you can see, it's got the tape holder here. Put a hammer holder here, slot that on. I'll show you another pouch as we're strapping this one on. and you're off and running. Now, you can see all the weight here is on your hips. We've also got a solution to redistribute the weight onto your shoulders as well, and that's where the suspenders kick in. Slot these into here, and into here, all on here as well, and you've got two more slots on your back of the Ergo belt, so now you've got the weight redistributed on your hips and also on your shoulders as well but there's more. Here, you can see Velcro on this side, put the universal tool pouch. Something in there. So you're off and running. You can just get to your tools quick, very quickly and get the job done even quicker. At the end of the job, you just slot off as easy as this. Now the next thing I'll show you 
is the holster vest. It's quite unique and becoming quite popular. Slot this in, you've got a zipper, after doing the belt up, just make sure these zippers line up. You can see the zipper, both sides. Holster pockets, two at the front, two at the back. And again, here's where the nail line is kicking. Let's grab two of these, so we can slot these in here. Slot these in this side. And keep moving along, you've got a tape holder here, whether it be tape measure or electrical tape. Mobile phone, again, going to have to get a couple more mobile phones to fill these pockets. In here you've got the pins on the side. You've got Napoleon pockets at the back. You've got the mesh, a bit of ventilation. And on the side, with this stuff feeds without its Velcro. So we might get a universal tool pouch, slot on. And on the other one, it might get the hammer holder, slot on. And you're off and running. Get it off, you just unzip it, pull her out, undo the belt, and you're off and running. Now, being Australia, where would it be without the shorts? Shorts, same as these pants, holster pockets, and also Velcro on the side. So all of this stuff, as you can see, all interchangeable. So I might just grab, for instance, a nail liner. Nail liner slots on, and we might get a hammer holder. All this stuff is interchangeable, so it's effectively the IKEA of workwear. Beauty about this gear is, as you can see, you could be left-handed, you could be right-handed. You might work out a particular way to do the job, where you can have tools on either side of your body, in particular spaces where it's essentially going to save you time. And that's it. Thanks for your time today, guys, and hopefully we'll see you in Skillers soon. Bye for now.